Yes, sports. There's the Joy Sports team. Hello, welcome to the Sports on Pulse. I'm Gary Al Smith. Lots happening in the football world, starting here in Ghana, where there are goals galore in the Ghana Premier League Week 26. Hearts of Folk are currently drawing 2-2 with Adriana Stars, and I'll be updating you with the other scores as well. Also, we'll be going to Kumasi to get the latest from the Black Stars camp as they get ready to play Congo Brazzaville. That will be on Friday. And like I said, Week 26 of the Ghana Premier League started in an explosive fashion. The game of the week, obviously, is a potential title decider between Hearts and Indiana Stars. And boy, did it start on a big, 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 in a big way. Indiana Stars took the league pretty, pretty quickly within the first couple of minutes. And as we speak, right now, it's 2-2 in that game after 70 minutes. Mediama uh, also just scored, and it's 2 nil against the Busia draws. But check out the scores after 79 minutes in the game between Ashgold and Brecum Chelsea. 5-1, the minus desperate to escape relegation uh, in it at the moment. Tema Youth also winning 2 nil against the already relegated Borga All-Stars. Almina Sharks 1 nil up on Asante Kotoko after 75 minutes. If Asante Kotoko lose this match, it's quite likely that they can forget about the title race. Heart of Oak also really need to win to be able to ensure that their title credentials continue. Um, Liberty Professionals, 2-1 up on Bichem United, one of the goals scored by um, NS Papa Ako and Wafa, the, one of the top four teams, also 0-0 also zero zero with Great Olympics, who are struggling with relegation as well. I'll be bringing you updates after we are done with the polls, but first we go to Kumase where the Black Stars are still ready for Congo. They are in training. And Delali Atiasi, the sports edit editor of Love FM, uh, spoke to Sunny Dara, the communications director of the GFA. Sunny Dara. And um, we are going to ask him a few questions about the team and preparations towards the game on Friday. So, Ibrahim, um, first of all, tell me, 22 players here, 22 um, two away. Um, what is keeping them away from the team as we speak now? Thank you very much. Um, Rafael Dramina and... Um, Lumo are the two players yet to join camp. Lumo played for his club yesterday, so he's currently on his way uh, to Ghana. He will be here uh, this evening uh, and then will travel um, by air to Kumasi by tomorrow morning. And then um, we have an issue with Rafael Dramina. You might have heard that he went to England to have a medical ahead of a move to Brighton. The move fell through because, um, according to the reports, the medical wasn't successful. Now, um, his club and his agents feel that they need a second opinion on the medical because he only did some medicals recently before the start of the season in Switzerland. So if there was any development, it would have been a recent development. So they want, um, they want a second opinion on whether it is the case or not. So he would have to undergo do, those tests before he comes. Are we aware when the tests are going to be done and how soon and it's, it's going to end and if indeed really he's going to join the team? Well, we are not aware. The reason being that we cannot determine as of now what sort of tests um, he will undergo. Perhaps it might be a short test or it might be extensive. It depends on what the doctors realize there. I guess as officials of the team, you've been speaking to the, the boy, Rafael Jamna himself. What has been his psyche after he failed that medical? Well, it's, it would be devastating for any player, uh, more so when it's an issue concerning his health. He would be more concerned about his health, and so are we, more concerned about his health, his betterment, than even perhaps maybe playing for us. Playing for us is one point, but we want him healthy. We want him to stay on his feet. So uh, even though he's devastated, we've encouraged him that he still has his best days ahead. And we hope that the prognosis and the analysis from the medical test he would have would be good. What has been the reaction of the technical team, especially the head coach, towards this news of Rafael Gamla? Well, um, we think that the squad is very, very deep in talent, as you can see now. Even though we would have wanted him to be here, um, what, for whatever it takes for him to be healthy is what we want. And we think that even in his absence, if indeed he would be absent, he would be absent, we would have an adequate replacement for him. 
Once again, the team has come to Kumasi. Um, what has been the reception like this time around? It's been amazing since yesterday. Um, long may it continue, and we hope that it will continue. We know that it will continue. Even by the turnout today at the training shows, that on the first day of training, people are excited about the team. And we hope that by tomorrow, when the training properly kicks into full gear, more people will turn up to show their support. And we know that by Friday, when we play the game, people will come out in their numbers to support the team. Looking around, um, uh, if my guess is right, i um, yet to see any uh, member of the Black Stars Management Committee. What is keeping them away now? Well, all have got their businesses uh, to do in Accra. Some will be coming tomorrow, the day after, and some will arrive here on Friday. Uh, so it's, it's, it's normal that on the first day you won't see uh, management committee members here. That is why the people from the Federation, like me, are sitting in for them until they come. So what is the schedule like for the team after today? Uh, we'll train tomorrow here at the same time, uh, and then we'll train again on Thursday. Then on Friday, God willing, we'll take on the Congolese at the same venue at 3.30. Just a bit on the Congolese, um, how much do we know them? We know them very well. Uh, these days, football is not played behind too much of, a close, too much of closed doors. Uh, everything is available for you. The analysis you can do of a team can be found with the right software and, and stuff like that. So we do know a lot. We hear they are arriving tomorrow. How true is that? Uh, that is what we hear. We know that an advance party from Congo is coming in today of two people. Um, by last night when we spoke, they had not given us uh, the day they are arriving. But if they say they are arriving tomorrow, so must it be. Thank you very much. Thank So that's Ibrahim Sanida with the latest from Kumaseva uh, Love FM's Delali Atiasi. Let's go to the Ghana Premier League again. These are the scores in the last term, and if this is what has happened, no new goals to report, so things are still the same. Liberty 2 1, Bechem United, Mediama 2 0, Libisuna Duas, Wafa 0 0, Olympics, and Inter Ally 0 0, All Stars, Hearts 2 2, Ediana Stars. I want us to look at this game carefully. Also, the game between Kotoko and Elmina Sharks. 1-0 for Elmina Sharks, and then the game between Wafa and Olympics, as well as the game, um, yeah, this one. So these are the scores. Let me show you what the importance of a win is for four of the teams that are in the hands for the title. Now, if you look at this graphic, it shows the last five fixtures of all the teams. Indiana Stars are playing Hearts of Folk right now as we speak, so they have four more. They play against Wafa, who are in the top four, they play against Boga All-Stars, who are already relegated. They play against Sharks, who are winning against Kotoko now. And then they play against Ashgold. If you look at these fixtures, they look quite winnable. Indiana could easily win the league title if they beat Hearts today. Or if they get a good result. For Hearts of Oak, they are playing Indiana today. And then the four fixtures, they are playing against War All-Stars, who are not doing too well. And they play this game in War, so it can be tricky. Dwarves at home can be quite tricky. But this will be in Accra, so Hearts you have an advantage. They play Mediama, and then they play Inter Allies. Not very, very d easy games at all. Then we come to Wafa, who until just this week were top of the league. Olympics, they play Olympics right now. It's currently 0-0. They play Diana Stars, who are currently top of the league. They play Wa All Stars, the defending champions. They play Dwarves away in Cape Coast, and then they play Mediama in Suga Kope, where they are expected to win like they always do. And now we come to Asante Kotoko, who are losing 0 0, 0 1 against Sharks at the moment. Then they play Ashgold, who are winning 5 1 right now. They play Bechem United away. They have Chelsea at home um, in Kumase. And then they have Liberty Professionals away. Very tricky ties. If you ask me if Adriana Star should beat House of Folk today, they are going to win the league title. If they should win today, they are going to win the league title. But my cameramen are telling me something here. So let's, let's see what's happening in Accra right now. So Accra, Hearts of Folk are losing by three goals to two at the moment against Adriana Stars. And as it stands, Adriana have quite a lead at the top of the table. If you ask me, if they win today, 
Adriana will win the league. So I'll bring you the final scores. I'll be at 8.20 on the Sports on Prime. And uh, it's all kicking off in the Ghana Premier League. But, you know, the difficult thing to comprehend is that after today, the league is going for a break for one month. Yeah, it's going for a break for one month because of the Wafu Cup of Nations. Just when it was getting exciting, we have to go for a break. But that's the sport for now. I'm Gary Al Smith. I'll see you soon.